Around the world, our climate is changing. Water, whether too much or too little, is often the heart of the problem. Climate change is hitting poor communities hardest. During the dry season, it takes six hours a day to gather water. After the drought, our family lost two and a half acres of corn and two and a half acres of rice. Rita and Katrina was what destroyed my house. During the wet season, it rains day and night, day and night. When it floods, the water gets extremely contaminated. This is the best house I ever had in my 67 years. We've always lived here, and we had everything we wanted. Fishing, shrimping, fishing oysters. This part of the world is God's country. The houses that we're building are, are going to be family homes. The next generation will inherit them. I used to clean houses, and I used to say, well, if I could get a house like this for, for Kenneth to get around in, it would be nice. But then I couldn't afford it. In coastal communities, Climate change means more severe hurricanes, erosion, and floods. Terrebonne Parish is no exception. Located two hours south of New Orleans, along Louisiana's Gulf Coast, it's home to more than 100,000 residents, nearly one in five of whom live below the poverty line. My name is Peggy Case, and I'm the director of track. What you're going to see down here, you know, every style, shape of houses being up in the air, it is the evolution of living here. TRAC is a Louisiana nonprofit helping Bayou residents build hurricane-resistant homes high above floodwaters. My name is Spike Wingate. I'm from Trish Point, Louisiana, and I lift houses for a living. The last hurricane that passed through here had seven foot of water. You know, so all, everybody's house gets flooded every, every year, two years, and then it's wood. It can only take so much water, and it's going to start to rot. Elevating houses is not a new idea. It's been done for centuries in Asia and coastal communities in the U.S., but now, using a new design created by MIT students, TRAC is building lift houses that are sturdy, affordable, earth-friendly, and culturally appropriate to the life on the bayous. It's been a goal of TRAC's to build back better and to build back for the last time. The first lift house that we constructed belongs to Miss Betty Adams. My name is Betty Jane Adams. I'm from Chauvin, Louisiana. Rita and Katrina was what destroyed my house. Must have been about maybe four and a half to five foot of water you can sit in that house. When I was younger, the water used to come and it would go down right away. Floods are more frequent now. On another bayou, it's the biggest house we've built. It's a three bedroom house, it belongs to the, the Liner family. My name is Sterling Liner and I grew up right here. I've lived here for 69 years. My name's Geraldine Liner, and I'm going to be 68 years old. We met at a dance hall. I was going to school with his sister, and we just got together and met like that. And we went out for six months and then married. We've been married for 52 two years. years. Probably. Okay, let me just check your blood pressure. With him being sick, it's been almost four years now since they determined he had Lou Gehrig. It's kind of hard right now on me. Like for the last hurricane we had, we was gone for nine days before we could get back home because of the water on the floors. It's a real nice house. It's warm and steady. We had some pretty good blows, and they don't move. Designed to last through floods and strong winds, a new lift house cost about $127,000. With hurricane recovery money, rebuilding grants, and other funds, owners pay 50%. Track funds the other half. This house is being built for Mary Verrett and her son, Kenneth. Every time we have a hurricane, we get flood, we get water. And I was just tired of the mud. Well, it's not a very pleasant experience if you go through a hurricane. Like, um, you got a few choices, but uh, either way, you got to evacuate. I knew I had to go up with my house. I couldn't afford it. Pretty excited about the new house, since I'll be able to reach everything a lot easier. This house is going to be fit for him. You know, I can't wait for him to see the inside. 
because I know he's gonna love it. It's like a dream come true. When this reservoir is completed, it will ensure people's survival. The water that comes out of the tank is drinkable and healthy. The lift houses that we're building can sustain Cat 5 hurricanes. If you're asking me what I wish, it's to get enough rain and grass and pasture. I wish to become self-sufficient. Join the world's poorest people in their fight against climate change.